internet, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Tori and today I have an update for the Say Good Day Project Pan. This is created by Isabella Grace or Beauty by Bella here on YouTube. This is a fantastic ladies collab. Um, this started on January 26, 2020 and will end on July 26, 2020. This is an Australian prompt focus project pan. Yeah, I already have finished two categories. I have four categories left. Sadly, there's no empties for this update, but a lot of good progress. So let's just jump into it. So the first category I have remaining is Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. And that is a product where the outer packaging or the product itself is green, yellow, or gold. So I picked the ABH single in 10K. So this is what it's currently looking like. Um, the pan, honestly, I think will look a little smaller compared to last month's photo. And yes, my nails are cracked and disgusting at the moment. <laughs> They're growing out and being annoying. Um, but yeah, since the last update, I've used it eight times. I'm getting somewhere. So yeah, this isn't my pan that palette. And I was having a hard time reaching for my Pan That Palette. If you've seen my Pan That Palette update, I discussed my frustration at the end of that video. But since I filmed that video, I've been reaching for this palette every single day. Uh, today's the like first day in like a week and a half that I haven't touched that palette. So I almost dropped this. Um, this is now getting a lot of use, but I am focusing on this side. Excuse me. It is going down. A little bit but not a lot but the pan kind of does look a little smaller because I'm constantly I am applying it with my fingy a lot because I noticed that it is very sheer and not that pigmented so previously I would use it and sometimes I still do use it as like a base but sometimes I've been using it recently as a pop of highlight on like the center of my lid and have been really liking that so Hopefully more progress by next month. Next we have Shrimp on the Barbie, a product you, like everyone hates and you love or vice versa. So I picked the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Foundation in Porcelain. Now, since the last update, I've used this eight times. I might be done by the next month. There's not really a lot in here. I've noticed that it's starting to oxidize more than it ever has, um, which, is sometimes common with foundations when there's not a lot left in there. So I'm still, I'm starting to scrape at the sides, but you can still tell it's pretty much, it looks still full. There is some gaping, but at the moment, that's the like main foundation I'm focusing on. I'm pretty much the only one I'm wearing. So I might be able to knock it out by the next update. So that's a hopeful goal. The next category is Dangerous Animals, and that is a product that makes you look fierce. I'm wearing it today for once. This is the Urban Decay Lipstick in Bun Bun. This is what it's looking like. I currently have it down to, it's starting to like, uh, Urban Decay has UD, like, put, pressed, there you go, pressed into their lipsticks. I'm starting to wear that down. Um, since the last update, I've used it nine times, so I am starting to keep this out in front of me. This does look like a possibility that it's going to be finished before the finale, so um, that's great. This definitely is a lipstick that I can't continually apply just because it's kind of too good to continually need to apply it. Um, if you don't know what I mean, sometimes with like crappy lipsticks, you can just keep reapplying throughout the whole day. Um, but with these lipsticks, you don't really need to. So the progress is going to be a little slow, but I think I can get that done by the finale. And then the last category is Vegemite for breakfast, lunch, and tea, a product you can use every day and never get sick of. And I picked the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Paris Perfume. So now I'm at this gray mark. Um, the gray mark I definitely made a little, a little too big. But I definitely have a nice gap from last month to this month. So I didn't add all my numbers together. I've reached for this 18 times since the last month. Sorry about that. Yeah, I use this as room spray. Sometimes in the morning, I just want an extra spray of this because this is my like 
typical scent and it calms me down. So I've been spraying it like that recently. I've been wearing it as perfume when I remember. I'm more commonly using this as room spray than perfume because it's not like I'm going anywhere. So <laughs> yeah, but hopefully, I don't know. I still need a big jump in order to finish it, but maybe I can finish it by the finale. I really would like to. I really want to finish this and get this out of my collection before I like start college. Well, transfer to a new college. So hopefully soon. But yeah, that is how all my products are looking at the moment. Um, I would, I'm hoping I keep up the same progress on that ABH single shadow along with the lipstick. I feel like everything in this project is going smoothly right now and I hope it stays that way. Um, I really want that foundation to be done by the end of this month, so that is like my main goal that I'm going to focus on, but I just want to continue progress, so I think it will be good. Let me know how you're doing today in the comments down below, and if you enjoy me or you enjoy Project Panning, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz, and peace out, Girl Scout.